We move on to other news tonight and a major announcement from General Motors investing a billion dollars in U.S. manufacturing, saving and adding thousands of jobs. And we ask this tonight. Was it because of President-elect Trump or was it already in the works and good timing for these automakers? Here's ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. He's been heaping praise on automakers adding jobs in the U.S. and turning up the pressure on those who haven't. I appreciate that from Ford. I appreciate it very much from Fiat Chrysler. Uh, I hope that General Motors will be following, and uh, I think they will be. Today, GM did, announcing it is investing $1 billion in new U.S. manufacturing and creating or retaining 7,000 U.S. jobs, 5,000 salaried in white-collar positions in finance and advanced technology, 1,500 in factories, and another 450, including work previously done in Mexico. GM CEO Mary Barra hinting at the move last week. I think there's room to uh, to make some changes that are going to make it improve it and, and make it more equitable across the globe. On Twitter, Trump celebrating. With all of the jobs I am bringing back into the U.S., I believe the people are seeing big stuff. But a GM executive telling ABC News the decisions were made well in advance and not in response to Trump's criticism. But that there's no question there is an emphasis on job creation in the U.S. right now. This is good timing for us to share what we are doing. GM is still moving ahead with plans to build some compact cars in Mexico. Since Trump won the White House, six companies have pledged to create more than 116,000 jobs here in the United States. Relief for so many families. But big picture, the economy has been adding jobs for six years, 2.2 million last year alone. And saving these additional jobs is good news no matter how you look at it. Let's get to Rebecca tonight because Boeing is also in the news meeting with the president-elect. Of course, president-elect Donald Trump had been very critical of Boeing for the cost of Air Force One. The CEO today saying it was an excellent conversation. They made progress on Air Force One. But even if plans move forward, it's unlikely Trump would ever fly on it given how long these take to make, even if he had a second term. Wouldn't be ready in eight years. Exactly. Save money, but it'll be a while. Rebecca, thank you.